I'm checking the area for safety. It is safe to enter. I'm gelling my hands with six types of hand hygiene. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Esther mm -hmm. and I'm your nurse today. And I came here to do an assessment. Is it all right? It's all right. Okay. Um, can you please tell me your full name and date of birth? Patricia Williams, 12-8-1967. All right. What's your preferred name? Patricia. Do you have any vision or hearing problem, Patricia? No. Okay. And is English your preferred language? Yes. All right. Patricia, can I cross check your name and date of birth with your ID then, yes. please? Okay. Can I see that, please? Patricia Williams. It's Patricia Williams. Date of birth is 12-8-1967. 12-8-1967. Hospital number is 12345. It's 12345. That's right. So... Thank you very much. And Patricia, I can see you are wearing an allergy band. Mm -hmm. Are you allergic to anything? Yes. What are you allergic to? Penicillin. All right, it says here in the document. Can I check your allergy band? It says penicillin. And what reaction you get when you take penicillin? Mm, I get rashes. Okay, so you get rashes. All right, so while you are here, we'll make sure we won't give you any medicines with penicillin, okay? Okay. All right. Are you comfortable now? Not really. Okay, I can see you are struggling to breathe. Yeah, I have breathing difficulty and cough, you know. Okay, yeah. all right. Do you want me to uh, lift your head up? A little bit. Okay, I'll do that. Just tell me when you want to stop. Yeah, that's it. Comfortable? Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you okay? To, for me to proceed with the assessment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see you are on oxygen. Yes. So just checking the floor, right? Yeah, you are two liters of oxygen. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you comfortable with this? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, and also, Patricia, I can see some paracetamols on your table. Mm -hmm. Is that yours? Yes, it is mine. Okay. So actually, while you are in, here in the hospital, we will administer all your prescribed medications, okay? Okay. So for safety reasons, can I please lock it away? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm walking it away. All right. Uh, and do you know the reason why you are here? Yes, I have uh, breathing difficulty, as I told you. Yeah. And I have cough as well. Yeah, and you are actually diagnosed with pneumonia, a chest infection. Mm -hmm. You are aware about that? Yes, I'm aware of that. Okay. So we are treating you for that. So okay. if you have any difficulties, please do let us know. Yes. Okay. And you told me you have cough. Yes. Are you coughing up any sputum? Yes. All right. What color is that? It is yellow. Okay, yellow color. So what I'll do is, um, after my assessment, mm -hmm. I'll give a specimen bottle. Mm -hmm. So next time when you're coughing, try to collect some sputum in that. Mm -hmm. I will send it to the lab for further investigations. And I will also escalate that to the doctor. Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so uh, I would like to proceed with the vital sign checking. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Can you please open your mouth? Okay, there is no visual obstruction. That's mm -hmm. clear. So, uh, I can say you are uh, using your accessory muscles for breathing because mm -hmm. you told me you are struggling. But is this position okay for it's you? Okay. okay. But your chest movement is fine. So, that means there is equal air entry mm -hmm. on both your lungs. And there is no sinuses. You are not sweating. There is no seesaw breathing. I cannot hear any respiratory noises at the moment. Okay, now I need to check your respiratory rate right, mm -hmm. for one full minute. So can you please just cross your arm across your chest like this. Mm -hmm. So I'll count the rate for one full minute. Alright, that's fine. So your respiratory rate is actually very high. 
It's like 28. Mm -hmm. So you're really struggling to breathe, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so let's just drop in on that. Retrograde is 28. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to check your saturation as well, mm -hmm. but before that, I need to check your capillary refill. Mm -hmm. I'll be pressing the tip of your nail, but for five seconds, okay? okay? So, so there is no pallor, the fusion is fine. So, I'm just pressing the tip one, two, three, four, five. Good capillary refill, okay? So, the normal refill is uh, less than two seconds, and your capillary refill is fine. So I'm attaching the saturation prop uh, on your finger, okay? All right. And also, I need to check your uh, blood pressure. You can put your hands here. I need to check your blood pressure. Uh, which arm do you prefer? Good. Your right arm, okay? The curtains are already closed mm -hmm. to give you privacy. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I expose you on minimally? Yeah, it's all right. All right. So I'm just exposing it minimally. Okay. All right. So I cannot see any infection, inflammation, fistula, or cannula. Mm -hmm. No skin lesion. It is safe. Have you had any surgery on this side before? No. Okay, that's fine. So the blood pressure cuff is of the correct size. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just applying this two to three centimeter above the brachial artery. Let me know if it is too loose or too tight, okay? okay. All right. So I'm going to inflate this cuff. Mm -hmm. You feel some tightness. Let me know if it is too tight. Okay. Okay. Your sats are 98. Mm -hmm. So I'm just taking this off. Blood pressure is 108 over 76. Okay. So I'm just going to document that, all right? Mm -hmm. Saturation is 98 and you're on scale 1. You're on 2 liters of oxygen mm -hmm. by a nasal cannula. And your blood pressure is 108 over 76. So 108 over 76. Okay. Now I need to uh, check your pulse rate. Mm -hmm. I'll be counting your rate of pulse. Okay, okay for one full minute. Mm -hmm. So which arm do you prefer? Which one? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And place this here. All right, your pulse rate is 80, okay? okay? So the rhythm is normal, mm -hmm. and the strength is also good, it is not weak or bounded. Okay. okay. So that's 80. And so I already checked, uh, there is no pallor, the perfusion is good, I checked the capillary refill. Um, so you are actually talking to me, so I can see you are alert. Mm -hmm. um, do you know what your blood glucose level is? No. Okay, as I said, can I please know the blood glucose level? Five. All right, thank you very much. So that is fine, actually, okay? Mm -hmm. The normal is like four to seven. Okay. So five at the moment is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And how are you passing urine okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, any pain or urgency or frequency when you pass urine? No, no. Okay. And have you, do you have any constipation or diarrhea? No. All right. Any pain anywhere? Yeah, I have chest pain. You have chest pain? Yeah. Okay. Is it when you are breathing? When I cough, it increases. Okay. So it's only when, when you are coughing. Okay. Are you having any pain at the moment? At the moment. Okay. So when you get pain, how would you rate that? Like from 0 to 10. 0 is no pain, 10 is the worst pain. Hi. All right. So just let me know if you need any painkillers. Mm -hmm. Are you okay at the moment? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Okay, then uh, I need to check your temperature as well. Okay. So it will be, I'll be using a tympanic thermometer that goes into your ear. Mm -hmm. So which ear do you prefer? Right. Okay. Actually, I can see that your oxygen, uh, this is falling down. So just adjust that. Okay. All right. Are you okay? Okay. So, yeah, so I'm going to use a thermometer. thermometer. Which ear do you prefer, sorry? Right ear. Right ear. So I'm just checking your ear. So there is no infection, no hearing aid, no other thing. So it is safe, okay? okay? Are you feeling all right, Patricia? Yeah, I'm all right. Inserting into your ear, okay? Okay. Okay. So as I said, the temperature is 36.2. So I'm going to describe it to the clinical basement, the ear prop. Okay. All right. So I have documented that. So I'm going to document that. And that's 36.2. And uh, do you have any bleeding injuries or bruises anywhere? No. Okay, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to calculate your early warning score. Okay. So it is six, and I'll be monitoring you every hour. Okay. I'm going to escalate that to the doctor. The doctor will come and review you. Okay. 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 okay can you just brief me about your past medical history? I uh, have COPD and hypertension as well. I'm taking medications for those. Okay. So you are COPD. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, actually, you are on scale 2. So uh, I need to strike this off because I have wrongly documented in scale 1. So your early one score will be different. Okay. okay. So thanks for letting me know. The doctor has also advised to document on scale 2. Okay. So your saturation was 98. And you are on oxygen. So actually, your early warning score is nine, okay. and we will be monitoring you continuously. Okay? okay. I will be escalating this anyway, mm -hmm. and the doctor will come and assess you as I already told. Okay. All right. Okay. So, apart from that chronic lung disease, do you have any other problem? Uh, hypertension, yes. All right. And are you on any medications for that? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so we, I'll check your prescription mm -hmm. because I can see you are on some regular medications, some inhalers and other cardiac medication. Okay. So I'll check the prescription and whether, if, whether if the doctor has prescribed it, we will administer accordingly. Okay. okay. So you told me that you have cough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are giving you the specimen bottle after my assessment. Okay. Uh, try to drink like... Uh, many fluid, like two, two to three liters of fluids, okay, as you are tolerated. Yeah, like since two days I'm not able to eat or drink anything, I don't feel like. Okay, don't feel, are you not feeling hungry? No, I don't okay. feel hungry. That is okay, like if you can eat small frequent diets, mm -hmm. even if you're not feeling hungry, if you don't eat at all, mm -hmm. that can actually cause more problems. So mm -hmm. try to eat small and frequent diet, mm -hmm. and we'll maintain a food and fluid chart mm -hmm. to monitor your fluid intake and food intake. Okay. Try to drink plenty of fluids as much as you can. Okay. okay, so that will keep your mouth moist because you are on oxygen. That can cause dry mouth. Okay, okay? and also like if you have, if the, uh, the secretions are mm -hmm. too thick, mm -hmm. so it will actually help you to uh, thin the secretions and you will be able to cough it up. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, 
and I will refer you to a physiotherapist as well, chest physiotherapist. Okay. They will come and teach you some coughing and deep breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, that will also help you to cough out the sputum. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And where you got chest pain, so we will administer the prescribed painkillers okay. before you do all those exercises. Mm -hmm. all, right? all right? And also like use tissues when you are coughing mm -hmm. and you can discard it in the pill. Okay. okay? Maintain good hand hygiene. Okay. It's to just to prevent spread of infection. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, any other problem you have? Have you had a good sleep last night? Yes. Yeah. You had a good sleep, yeah. okay. Uh, that's fine. Is there anything else that you're concerned about? Would you like to see your family members? Yes, I would like, I'd like to see my husband. Okay, that's fine. Actually, the visiting hours for hours are from 2 to 6 o'clock. Okay. okay so. Uh, you can bring your husband if you know, or else I can bring him on your behalf. Could you please do that? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let him. Okay, okay. so the, your family and friends can come and visit you during the visiting hours. Okay. Alright? Yeah. Okay, do you need any spiritual support? No, not really. Alright, and I can see you are wearing hospital gown. Yeah, because I, I want to wear my own clothes, but I have not got any here. Okay. I want my husband to get them as well. Alright, so, so. so when I ring him, to inform him about the visiting hours, I can mm -hmm. tell him to bring your own clothes. Yeah. Okay, so that you can wear your own clothes. Okay. okay, that's fine. Another thing I would like to tell you is like if you are moving out, mm -hmm. um, please press the call bell okay. here, okay, because we are on oxygen, mm -hmm. so we will come and help you okay. with a particle oxygen cylinder. We will assist you. Okay. Um, how is your mobility otherwise? It is fine. Do you use any walking aids? No, I don't. Do okay, so. and also it's good if you wear like your own shoes. Okay. Well fit at shoes to prevent any falls. Okay. okay. Is there anything else that you're concerned about? No. Okay. So we are here to help you. The call bill is here. Mm -hmm. Any problem, please do let me know. Okay. okay. And also I will escalate your vital signs and all the problems to the doctor. Okay. okay? Thank you very much, Patricia. Thank you. Okay. So as a sir, I've done the uh, assessment. I've done the documentation. I'll be escalating all the relevant things to the doctor. I will also clean this vital sign machine after my assessment. Thank you very much. I'm my hands. Six steps up and hygiene.